Next question is from D Price 22. What bro science did you do in the past that still holds true today? You know, you know what's funny about bro science <laughs> is that so bro science refers to like it's a bad name the, the rules of nutrition or training that were you know pushed by bodybuilders and lifters. It's called bro science because they're not scientists, but they'll they'll say things like don't eat carbs or don't eat anything after you know 7 p.m. or stuff like that, right? Right. And the, the funny thing is that their explanations were often wrong. So they said, I'll give you an example. Uh, you know, bro science would say, don't eat food past 6 p.m. if you want to get lean. Now their explanation is, well, if you eat past 6 p.m. Insulin drops. Yeah, and you're not gonna be you're not gonna be active, so you can't burn it off. It'll get stored as body fat. And that's how they explained it, which is wrong. That's not how it works. However, does not eating past 6 p.m. tend to lead to fat loss in people? Yes. Mm -hmm mainly because it's a behavioral uh, adaptation in the sense that right. not eating past 6 p.m. means I'm not going to eat my late night snacks. I'm not going to eat the foods that I tend to make bad decisions with. I'm probably cutting probably my get calories. better sleep because uh, yeah. of the digestion and yes. that kind of thing. Yes. So bro science, it, oftentimes there's truth in the results, but it's not – like here's another one. Like cardio first thing in the morning when you don't eat. Yeah, fasted cardio. Fasted cardio because it burns body fat rather than carbs or whatever. No, that's not why it works. Here's why it does work for a lot of people. It gets you up earlier and it gets you moving right away. And that tends to be extra activity on top of what you're normally used to. Well, that would be one that I can I would still use knowing that the the science has been debunked. Yeah. I just I wouldn't tell people that I'm doing fasted cardio because that the fasted cardio burns more fat than if I were to do cardio somewhere else time of the yeah. day. It's that I know when I was doing fasted cardio for competing, I got up an hour earlier. I would have, and if I wasn't doing the fasted cardio, mm -hmm. I would be sleeping in my bed. And so getting up, and then not only that, but normally if I'm not doing the fasted cardio at six o'clock in the morning and I start my day, even when I'm up at seven and I start the rest, seven to noon is very sedentary. Mm -hmm. So the, not only that, I actually get my heart rate. And what you'll notice, this is really neat if you've ever compared this in long enough before. Is whenever I would get up, and you know, I know you know this because it's why part of why you probably love training it so early. Is I'm just more active and physical when I've started with uh, something physical that early. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Where I'm more lethargic and slow. It sets and the set, tone. It sets the tone for the day. Right. I've got energy. I've got a pump. I feel good. Yep, you're I get up and down there. more. I move yeah. faster. I'm a little more fidgety and stuff like because I got that going early in the morning versus later on in the day. So it has benefits like that. It reminds me of like what we talk about like uh, woo woo science you know like when mm. you talk about chi and you you the yeah, way they that explain it in a way that it's not that like their explanations are wrong but that doesn't mean that the results are, are yeah not there. it's right. like my because katrina's family is very much so into like the massage therapy and and uh eastern medicine and like right. a lot of that woo woo stuff and she still communicates like that and i always kind of like chuckle i'm like that's not that's not how that works it's not and she's like i i've done this enough and her argument is always i've seen it enough times i don't need to hear me tell her it's not yeah. it's like well, it's not. I'm not disagreeing that it doesn't work. It's that the way you're explaining it isn't correct. But that doesn't mean I throw it out and I don't uh, apply it or mm -hmm. use it. It's just that they're, the way that we've explained it for so many years, and that's what bro science is. Bro yeah. science is there has been enough years of experience of these bros that have applied this, and they've seen hundreds of other of their bros. Okay, or and they've other, gotten results, and they've gotten incredible results from it. And and then they do their best to explain it through science and it doesn't come out very well. No. And then then you have the nerds that love to shit all over they it. They shit on yeah. the explanation. Yes, they take they take apart every word they said and then they go debunk it and why I don't like that shit is because it's actually pretty good yeah. advice. Yeah. Like the don't eat past six. Now you're deterring people from actually That's like right. achieving success. Or get up, you know what's really results. good for you? Get up and do some fasted cardio yeah. or stop eating at yeah. six o'clock. You know, that's great fucking yeah, you advice. You what's funny is they'll show studies and show fasted cardio versus unfasted cardio resulted in no additional fat loss because it's all controlled. Right. Yeah. But if you take a bunch of everyday people and you tell half of them to wake up and do cardio first thing and then the other half, you can do cardio whenever you want. And then you follow them along, you would see better results with the fasted cardio just because it's the first well, thing they did when and, they got up. Yeah, and I don't know if like the whole like drink a gallon of water is considered bro That's size, another great one. For me, uh, I just like the intention of every day I'm trying to focus on That's in, a great my example. water intake. Totally. And, you know, of course, like they'll, they'll promote it as, uh, I don't even know how the bodybuilders promote it. No, they it, promote it as you need a gallon of water a day. You yeah, just, like they have to achieve the that. the kidneys out. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. something like that. Like they'll add in as like some crazy. Yeah. But you're right. That's, inc that's, inc that's incredible advice. 
And yeah. what I have found is if you don't tell somebody some you know arbitrary number that they have to go they target, drink too little. then they don't, they drink too little. Yeah, here's so another- way, way here, under consume. Here's another one is uh, the pre-workout. You know, take these supplements 30 minutes before you work out to give you a better workout that's more effective. Now, besides caffeine, which actually has, stimulants do have some benefit, not always, but some benefit for workouts. What about the whole like- citrulline and amino acids and this and that. And I know studies will show there's this like nominal difference or whatever, but it's really not something substantial. But why did I always recommend to my clients 30 minutes before that they do something or take something 30 minutes or 45 minutes before the workout? Why? Because it sets the tone. It was a 30, it's like preparing yourself mentally that, okay, in 30 minutes, mm -hmm. I'm going to, rather than like, oh my God, I got to work out right now. I got to get into this mental state. And so it's just this, this mental component that makes a difference. That or the, yeah. how about the six small meals a day? That's yeah. something that's been shit all over also. If, if calories are all equated the same, then it, and the thermo, and they usually talk about the thermo effect and yeah, the, the difference that you're- effect of food and everything Yeah, else. that's bad science, but- I tell you what, even after I knew that science wasn't true, I still used to make clients portion out their meals in four to six meals a day because it taught them portion control. Yeah. And they had, and what it helped them with was they never got really, really hungry because every two hours though, they were feeding. So they never mm -hmm. let their body get really hungry to where cravings started to kick in and then they made bad decisions. Mm -hmm. So it helped with be good behaviors. So the science was explained terrible with the whole four to six meals a day. Like you're right. But there's tremendous value in somebody portioning their meals out in small meals and eating them every two to three hours. And it's not because the science says it's better for burning fat or building muscle. You're it's building in discipline. It creates good behaviors and discipline. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.